An important tax break that enabled millions to avoid foreclosure by short selling their home ends this year. This all comes after the, the big bust that happened in South Florida with a lot of houses going underwater, a lot of homeowners going underwater with their mortgages. So we've got a lot to talk about here. And as you know, on Wednesdays, everything you need to know about how this could impact you, even if you are not in housing trouble, is Sherry Olofsson. Thank you so much for sure. joining Good us morning. this morning. This Good is morning. an important one. Well, how does it work? And if it is that effective, why is it ending? Well, great questions. First of all, uh, in, when you get a, a discount on your the amount that you owe your mortgage lender or any other creditor, as long as you have to pay it back, it's not really income. But if they say you don't have to pay it back, then really that's like income, Roxanne. And that's how the IRS has always treated it. So the problem is when the real estate bubble burst, a lot of folks were encouraged to do short sales. But the problem with that was they didn't want to do short sales if they were going to have to pay this income tax on the debt right. that the bank was forgiving. So in 2007, Congress enacted this act, which says that if your bank forgives mortgage debt because of a foreclosure type workout situation, you don't have to pay income tax on that. The thing is, the act expired last year. It was extended till this year because the crisis wasn't over yet. But now the reason that they're sunsetting it is the crisis is more or less over, except for a few pockets. And the new big crisis, of course, is the budget in Washington. They need to figure out how to get government to pay for right. itself. So they need all the revenue they can get. But if it's helping homeowners, and there are still some homeowners who need this help, why would they decide to let this thing, you know, as you say, sunset or end? Right. Well, predominantly because they need the revenue. But the thing is that... Why is uh, the objection? Yeah, the real, the yeah. real problems are that there's still about 10 million people even in those pockets across the country that are still underwater. And so if we end this now, those folks may just let their homes go into foreclosure, which we know is more disruptive. And here's the thing, Roxanne, those 10 million people aren't scattered evenly around the country. They're in specific pockets. So the truth is that letting them go into foreclosure could have the same impact today because they're so concentrated that it would have had two or three years ago. So really, the act should be extended at least for those areas. Now, is South Florida very quickly still one of those pockets? Of course, yeah. of course. We're really at risk for this. Okay, so some Somebody says, you know what, I didn't realize this was running out at the end of the year. That means I've only got two and a half weeks to get this done. Can they still do that? I mean, can you get it done in that amount of time? With a cash buyer, you probably could. You've got to negotiate with the bank, obviously, very quickly. Uh, so either you need to get it wrapped up before the end of the year, or obviously everyone who's concerned about this should be writing or email, emailing their representatives in Congress. The, there's a chance that the act could be extended next year retroactively, which would be great. Or the other option, of course, is to sit tight until your home appreciates before you sell. But she's, you mentioned a key point here, if you can get your bank to work with you. And the complaint we get is that banks won't react quickly. So right. how could you light a fire under your banker to get something done? What would a homeowner do if they're under underwater like this or do want to do the short sale and get it done by the end of the year to right. take Right. Well, the first key is to work with professionals who have worked with your bank before. But, you know, there are these banks have improved their procedures. A lot of it is just a crapshoot. It depends on your bank and it depends on how busy they are and how well you're able to handle it. But certainly time is not on your side now. So if you want to do a short sale, at least try to get it done before the end of the year. Well, important information. Yeah. Don't think we're going to see you next week, are we? Uh, yes. Will you next week? Yes. But then for the holidays, so I may yes. not see The news it. never rests. <laughs> not when it comes to real estate in South Florida, does right. it, Sherry? Thanks for being with us today. Sure. We'll go back to the end.